Good morning, everyone. Mr. Watts is a hard act to follow, and he spoke very, very eloquently about uh, digital transformation. Um, for the next 10 minutes, I'd like the people in this room to sort of take off their marketing hats and think about what I'm going to say as a regular person. Right? Now, as a regular person, all of us consume a lot of content. And I don't think it'll surprise anyone to know that there are more than 12,000 hours of content that are put out in the world on a daily basis. Right? And it's also not surprising that a lot of this content exists within the wall gardens. Right? Um, all of us consume content on a daily basis, spend four to five hours on our devices looking at different content pieces. Um, we do this to get information, to be entertained, to look for ideas. We all have different diverse uses for content, right? Now, when you are looking for this content, what is your journey to actually get to this content? Think about it. You pick up your device, you unlock it, you scroll through the apps, you pick an app, uh, you possibly search for content, or you scroll through content to see what you want to consume, and then you spend some time on it. The journey, by no stretch of imagination, is short. Now, when you do get to this content, um, how much time do you actually spend on it? There are certain content pieces which are relevant to us, and we do spend time on it. But by and large, most content pieces see the attention span of a goldfish from most people. What if we could look at a simpler journey to discover content that is of interest and relevance to us? Could you imagine a paradigm where the content that you like could come to you without so many clicks and searches? In the current paradigm that content is published, this is impossible. We need to reimagine of how content discovery can actually happen for a user. Right? So let's park that for a second. Now think about the place that you frequent most often. Where do you spend most of your time? It's no longer the office. The last two years have changed the way we live. And it's no longer the pub around the corner. Right? So where are you actually spending your time? And the answer is fairly obvious. It's on the lock screen of your device. Right? Take a second and think about it. There are times you pick up your device, you look at it, um, you, you unlock your device and look at different apps and do what you need to do. But our, lock our devices have actually become our companions through the day. And we end up looking at it more than 50 to 100 times in a day. And let me build that up a little bit more. Do you recall picking up your device, just checking the time, looking at the date, notifications, any updates? right? How many of us just pick it up in the middle of a meeting or in the car where we're driving somewhere, right? So the, our lock screen is our constant companion through the day. So what if we could actually do more with the lock screen, right? What if the lock screen was um, the platform where you could get updates that you wanted, right? Which would give you notifications before anything else. What if it could surface content to you? that is of interest to you? What if you could shop on the lock screen? What if you could go live from the lock screen? This, ladies and gentlemen, is Glance. It's not an app that you need to download. It's not a, a, an app that requires an eight-click journey. This is where the content comes seamlessly and in a frictionless manner to you. But I'm not going to you know, talk more about it. I would just like to show you Glance. Um, when your device powers on, and I'm just going to walk through this on my phone, but we're running this demo from the um, console. So every time you power up your device, there is a fresh piece of content that is published in it. Right? You can interact with this content. So if you simply swipe right, you go into what is called the highlights mode. Right? And here you can see more details on the content that is published, which could be in the format of an article or a video or um, live content that we publish. Right? Coincidentally, we had a live piece uh, popping up there. We publish content with 18 diverse different categories. So um, RAI ML program learns the kind of con you know, the content that you enjoy consuming and what you interact with, what you like and you share, and publishes more of that content to you. Um, 
So this is the settings. There are four. Unfortunately, the screen is getting cut a little bit. But there are four widgets at the bottom of the screen. That and the last on the one on the bottom right is the settings widget where you can define the languages in which you want to consume content and also the content categories that would be relevant for you. One of the things you can do on the lock screen itself is just play a game, right? There is the Glance Game Center, which is one of our more popular features. There are more than 100 games that sit on the lock screen of your device. And you, know, you, can, you can watch a live game stream. You can play a game. You can participate in a tournament. And this is one of the features that is driving engagement for us in a really, really big way. And last but not the least, if you go back to the highlights home screen, on the top of the screen, you will see a widget for live. We started playing with live content a few months back. And I think I can say fairly unabashedly that today, Glance is the biggest uh, live platform in the country. Live is a format I don't think is due to anyone and is doing tremendously well in a lot of markets like China, Vietnam, etc. And we brought live to India. Um, so if you go on the live page, you can see the content pieces that are live at, at any given point of time. You can also see the schedule for the day and you know, set reminders for what you want to watch. And if you want to watch something that's live right now, you simply uh, start. Um, so this is what Glance does. Um, <coughs> so as I was saying, Glance is not an app. Um, does your phone have this? We actually publish Glance in conjunction with OEM partners. So it's almost like an extension of the device. Today, we work with partners like Samsung, Vivo, Xiaomi, Realme, Motorola, etc. And about 80% of the devices that go out into the market today are Glance enabled. Um, this sort of a distribution strategy has given us tremendous scale in a very, very short span of time. So today, we stand at about 173 million monthly active users who spend um, more than 25 minutes a day on the platform. right? So what are these people doing? When they pick up their device, they see Glance, they engage with the content, but what are they actually doing? Live today has actually become one of our biggest engagement drivers. And with the kind of traction that we saw uh, of our users on, on live content, we actually you know, created a festival for them uh, early June. And I want to share with you some examples of how users actually engaged uh, with the content that we published in that festival. So like any festival, there was a lot of entertainment. There was some music. There was some gaming. So let's see how that did. Um, this is a show we did with Rajkumar Rao, which had 690,000 viewers, which is 40,000 viewers more than the, the global Star Wars live stream. Just take a second to think about the kind of scale that we're talking about. 40,000 viewers more than the global Star Wars live stream, right? No festival is complete without music. Um, and so one of the artists who came and performed live was Mohit Chauhan. And his session saw 2.2 million people, which is just 90,000 viewers lesser than the entire last season of Coffee with Karan. That's the scale that live is able to bring to the table, where people are able to engage with content and creators that they want to see and you know, interact with. We, ha we did a lot of content around shopping, right? And that's one of the things um, that's sort of unique to Glance. Um, as a platform. We saw 2.7 million people interact and shop with shopping-led content. The example that you see is um, a show with Rana Dugubati. We've launched a brand uh, along with him. So 2.7 million people is almost 1% of the digital buying population of this country. Gaming, live gaming, is a, a very, very popular format and scaling at an insane pace in the country. So just to give you a sense, amongst all the live game streams that we did, we saw 2.7 million gamers participate in one tournament, which is 1.3 million viewers more than the most viewed PlayStation stream. And I think one of the funnest examples is, uh, came from a sports-led show where we had Shrishant and Harbhajan Singh where they actually apologized to each other and resolved their 10-year-old feud 
and that went viral and that was covered up by the media and obviously it was great content for us it wasn't planned but it's amazing to see how these live interactions can create such powerful moments of engagement for users and the last thing that i'll sort of cover is um, every night we had a party online and there were DJs going live from across the country. Um, this particular gentleman was playing from um, his station in Goa and his viewership was 800,000 people which is enough people to fill Eden Gardens eight times over. Right? So that is the power of live and I think what I'd just like to leave you with is how would you like to use this platform as a content creator? How can you create experiences for your consumers which are surfaced to them in an absolute seamless and frictionless manner? How can you create engagement and content for them which is native to them and they consume as a part of their you know, content experiences? So I'll, and this is where I finish. So I'd just like to share one example of a campaign we did with Disney. Um, and I think it's one of my favorite campaigns so far. Uh, and the thought here was really straightforward. We ran a campaign for them where we, you know, in the, in the first few weeks of the IPL, we enabled users such that they were able to discover the live score of the match that was live on the lock screen itself. Think about it from the user's perspective, right? So all you had to do was tap here on the call, sorry, was tap here on the call to action button and um, just like that, the score would pop up. Apologies for messing up the slides. Let me just play this for you. Right? So you have the button here and there's a page that would open up that would give you the live score at that point of time along with other statistics. Right? So like I said, what would you like to do on glance to lock your consumer's glance? Thank you.